Hi, so we've got a Foxwell i70 Pro diagnostic system and we're going to demonstrate this today plugged into Renault Capture 2016. So firstly we need to plug the VCI, the vehicle diagnostic connector, into the car itself. So this is a Bluetooth unit so it doesn't have any wired connection to the diagnostic tablet itself. Let's just get this all plugged in and positioned correctly. There we go. Okay, and now we can move on to the tablet itself and start the diagnostics. So from the main Foxwell screen, we'll click on the diagnostic button. Then we'll scroll down and find Renault. Okay, now click on start. And then smart VIN, so it should be able to pick the chassis number up from the car itself. Yep, so it's found the chassis number and knows which model we're plugged into. So we'll start with a quick scan. This will go around all the car systems, checking um, which diagnostic systems are on the vehicle and which have got fault codes. So as you saw the message there, we just needed to make sure the radio was switched on to allow it to diagnose the radio while going through all the systems. So the tool is now going through all the possible systems that could be fitted to this model talking to each of them, finding out which are fault codes, and it will give us a report shortly showing all the different systems, which are fault codes, and then we can go into them individually and look at, at each of the fault codes. Depending on how many systems are fitted to the car, this report can take a little bit of time. It's almost done. Okay, now, so we're back to the top. So we can see that the ABS had a fault. So we can go into the ABS and have a look at that. So if we go to read codes, well, there's two fault codes there, one of which is active. We can clear those codes. So if we click on clear codes, yeah, I'm going to continue code's cleared. Brilliant. So we can go back in and read the codes again just to check. We can see there's one of those fault codes didn't clear. But while we're here let's have a look at the active tests that are available within the ABS system. And now let's drop back to the main list of systems. And we can see that the communication unit says fault so let's have a look in that. And let's go and read the codes. Okay so let's try clearing that fault code. Yes, want to continue? Code okay, cleared. See what active tests are available in this module. Okay, so we've got some there. So let's drop back and have a look at the main list again. So what else do we have fault codes in? Instrument panel, let's go in there. Recodes. Right, okay, let's try clearing that fault code. Yes. Okay, and see what active tests we've got in here. Okay, so now let's drop back again to the list. And what else do we have fault codes? No, I think we've cleared everything. Right, let's have a look in the engine. And let's just see what active tests the engine offers. So we've got good list of active tests there. Okay and now you can drop back to the main list. Now if you wanted this as a report it's possible to click on the report button or the save button at the bottom of the page and then you can actually have this saved as a PDF with the fault codes included within it. So if I just click on that now you can see it's got a full list and it shows us that one fault code from the ABS system at the bottom as well. So it's a very useful report for printing or emailing through to customers. So if we drop back now to the main menu, we can go into the maintenance section. And here you've got a whole range of different maintenance procedures that we can do on the cars. So if we go into the ABS and we go across to Europe at the top and scroll down to Renault. Okay, we've got the smart VIN option again. Let's pick up the VIN and the model. 
So it's offering us a break bleed functions on this one. So if we go back to the maintenance menu, we've got more options to choose from. So let's look at the oil reset. So let's go across to Europe again and choose Renault. Smart bin. Right, let's pick up the model. So we've got oil reset. This vehicle's only just had the oil service reset on it, so I don't need to go through that again. If we drop back to the main page, you can see the whole list of maintenance options available in the i70 Pro. But if you've got any questions or you'd like to know any more information about the i70 Pro or any of the other Foxwell diagnostic tools, please get in touch with us at gendan.co.uk. Thank you.